There's no way anyone's gonna believe Cherry's you. Hey, Phoebe. <laughs> Told ya! Jinx! Yo, me a soda! <laughs> Ugh, there's two of them. What was your first save as Hiddenville's protector? Oh, uh, Phoebe, weren't you just Zip saying that- Zip it, neck brace. <laughs> I want to hear it from her. Well, it was when Max and I kept the water and power plant from exploding. I actually did it! We did it together, right, Phoebe? Right. Whoa, Metroberg's proton reactor is having a meltdown. The Z-Force is busy, so they're calling me! This is my chance to redeem myself. You two are coming with me. What? Consider it part of your interview. You have heat breath, freeze breath, and telekinesis. I have a tail. For someone who's so ashamed of his tail, you sure talk about it a lot. Ha-ha! <laughs> There's our chopper! Let's go show the Z-Force what I can do. Wait, 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 wait. Uh, I, I, I'm Phoebe's good luck charm. You have to let me go. I don't have to do anything, especially show you my tail. Stop asking. All right, let's do this. It'll be easy with detail out of the room. <laughs> and you can tell everyone that detail saved you. <laughs> you guys aren't done yet. I just texted my mom that I did it. We're just regulating some regulators. I'll never be able to pull this off with him watching. Then I'll make sure he's not watching. Hey, Mr. Tail. You know, why don't you let me get a picture of you stopping this whole meltdown thing for the Z-Force? Oh, good thinking. It would be proof of my save. <laughs> uh -huh. oh, that's really bright. Oh. All right, quick. You blow freeze breath on that core, and I'll heat this one. Go. Work it. Show me, hero. I love it. You did? <laughs> Woo! Goodbye, tail fail. So, did we pass the interview? Yeah, and you made me look good doing it. Mm, I can't wait to tell the Z-Force. I'm recommending you for the finals. And as a reward, I'll give you what you've been asking for. You can watch my tail wag. <laughs> Is it weird I want a tail now? Oh no. The kids have been attacked by Professor Fancy Pants. Well, I wish he'd attacked sooner. They look amazing. We're just a couple of mature individuals who want to have an adult conversation with their parents. That's right. So sit back, relax, and have a cup of coffee. Ooh, we'd love some. No. <laughs> Tastes like dirt water. Isn't that what coffee is? <laughs> we believe we're ready to begin a more grown-up level of superhero training. You started training Phoebe when she was our age. Yeah, Phoebe's special. Mm. Just like you guys. We've taken down some serious villains, like Fairy Pinchess at the prom. Allow us to refresh your memories. <laughs> next week. <laughs> but she didn't, because Billy zapped her, and I locked her in a box. You have zapped in me. Goodbye, cool world. <laughs> Get in the box, Scarlett Johansson. <laughs> Another villain taken out by Billy and Nora. <laughs> Okay, you guys convinced us. Meet us in the driveway tomorrow afternoon and we will begin your next phase of superhero training. Nora, we did it! I told you it would work! <laughs> guys, can I come out now? <laughs> hey kids, ready to take your training to the next level? Yeah! yeah. Meet the crime buddy. Hello, little soups. Let's have some training fun! <laughs> training tool for a baby or someone who's just been born. 
The training bot is built to challenge soups at any level. Right now it's set to cutesy wootsy because you two are cutesy wootsy. We're not cutesy wootsy. I don't know. I'm pretty adorable. <laughs> challenge us and crank this thing up to meanie weenie. No, 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 I, I know it probably feels like we're taking things a little slow. But if you want to fight for justice, you're gonna have to trust us. Oh, honey, did you just make that up? <laughs> yeah! This is crazy. Mom and Dad are still treating us like babies, but we know we can handle real grown-up training, right? Yeah. We took down villains. We shouldn't be wasting time on this baby bot, right? Yeah! So you're gonna go crank up that crime bot to the meanie weenie level, right? No! <laughs> Mom and Dad said that we're not ready. Then let's prove them wrong. Leveling up. Stand by. Hey, let's go get a snack while this thing levels up. Yeah, then we'll come back and show that goofy little robot who's boss. <laughs> Where are the losers? Thanks, Billy. You know what? Let's just stand up to this tin man. Hey, Metalhead! You're going down. You have defeated the crime buddy. Yes! Just kidding. You are dumb as well as weak. Can't wait to see how Billy and Nora did while we were gone. Yeah, I bet they're giving that crime buddy the business. Mm -hmm. Prepare to be destroyed. Let go of my babies! Your challenge is accepted, soccer bomb. They're not scared of you, but I am. Hey! My mom made that coat rack out of the first tree I flew into. Get a tissue, mama's boy. <laughs> oh, that's it. You're out of here. Are you guys okay? Yeah, we're fine. I'm gonna call the Hero League right now to tell them their robot malfunction. Does malfunction mean Nora and I said it to meanie weenie? No, Billy, it doesn't. All right, time to meet Metroburg's worst of the worst. <laughs> this is T-Bone, he has magnet powers. I'm also a babe magnet. Child, sit down. This is Gale Force. She's a human wind tunnel. That's right. I blow a mighty wind. From which end? <laughs> Want to find out? This little one they call Maisie. We don't talk about her power. Hello, Phoebe. How does she know my name? You're gonna be great. <laughs> You're gonna be great. <laughs> Release the monsters. Time to be an inspiration. <laughs> Sit down, delinquents! Uh, where do you want me to go? Oh, wait, you're ruining my flow. <laughs> so, you little wannabes think being bad is cool? <laughs> well, it's not! How would you know, Buttface? <laughs> it's Mr. Buttface to you. <laughs> and I used to be evil, just like you. You? Evil, what's the worst thing you've ever done? You know, I once tried to take over the world with, uh, <laughs> Dark Mayhem. <gasps> you know Dark Mayhem? Know him. I was almost his plus one of the villain awards. <laughs> okay, uh, let's not forget to tell them about the time you helped me take down Dark Mayhem, because they're not evil anymore. Remember that part, Max? <laughs> Wait, you took down Dark Mayhem too? I don't want to brag, but I gained his trust and stabbed him in the back. Wow. I have an idea. Why don't we write down all the things we love about being good, huh? Here, for instance, 
I love flossing twice a day and having a brother I can totally trust. Hey, wait, everyone stop. Give me those pens. Phoebe, I need to talk to you immediately. <laughs> His mom's in trouble. <laughs> Will you cut it out so I can change their stupid lives? I'm just trying to help you. They're villains. If you give them pens, they're gonna use them to pry off their power zappers. I think you're overreacting. Wait, why is one of those pens a straw? Because I switched it. Now we're gonna teach you a lesson. I think I'm getting through to him. So they'd be distracted while I did this. <sighs> Max, I knew you were good. Well, now I do. Before I thought you were totally evil. Traitor! Let's take them down. Alright, we should get these power zappers on them before. <laughs> they hurt us really bad. <laughs> what? Why can't I control my hand? Because there's metal in your watch. Told you I'm a baby magnet. One of us just has to get to her. Oh, looks like we're in for some stormy weather. <laughs> Max, it's up to you! I'm gonna need a push! <sighs> Got you, windbag! That would be funny if I didn't just pee my pants. <laughs> Sorry, kids, but I told you, evil doesn't pay. Really? Because it was kind of evil he tricked us. Guys, being a superhero doesn't mean you have to be all goody-goody like my older sister here. We are the same age. <laughs> so, we can be superheroes, but still be cool like you. <laughs> exactly. All right. I'm in. Me too. I'll think about it. <laughs> This is your last chance to come to the show to see us again. We're good. Uh, are you sure? Because this award is going to be We're real. Good. Well, I guess we should call that fancy super sitter the Hero League got us. Yeah, they say he's the best in the business. He's also free. <laughs> now we just got to push this baby monitor and... Super Manny, at your service. Cool, how'd you do that? Monitor travel is one of my babysitting powers. Others include creating toys and disinfecting playground equipment with my mind. <laughs> Ooh, Chloe is gonna love you, I'll get her. Please, allow me to fetch the girl. Jumpity bumpity boom! <laughs> Who's up for a bounce? She doesn't care, let's go. Thunderman's getting awards! You must be very excited for your parents. They're going to be recognized by Metroburg's finest heroes. Cake Man, Super Viking, Paws Girl. Paws Girl? Yes, Paws Girl. <laughs> I hear it's the first award show she's ever attended. Hey, Super Manny, watch me bounce! Coming young, miss. <laughs> We blew it. If we don't go to those awards, we may never have another chance to meet Paws Girl. I was thinking the same thing. To the Soup Awards! <laughs> what are these? Another one of my powers is keeping kids on a short leash. I've never had a child run away on me. Well, Billy has super speed. Go, Billy! Ow. Or we can stay. I'm hungry, Super Manny. Then prepare for some tasty weather. Tater Tots! Dreams do come true! Billy, we have to meet Pa 
Oz girl. You know what we need? Yep, an invisible dinosaur with a taste for mischief. <laughs> what? No. Good, because I definitely don't have one of those. Shh, quiet, Rexy. <laughs> Let's find Paws Girl before Mom and Dad realize we're here. Our feet are stuck to the ground. Indeed, they are. Because you two are grounded. <laughs> Cheeky, right? Billy, Nora. Apologies, Thunder Parents. They snuck here, but I promise I will not lose one of your children again. You're it. Spoke too soon. <laughs> We know why you two snuck out of the house and came down here. You do? You decided to come down here and see us get the award. <laughs> to tell you the truth, we were a little heartbroken when you guys said you didn't want to come tonight. But the fact you two showed up means more than any award we've ever gotten. Even more than the Nobel Pizza Prize. <laughs> Thunderman, Electris, get backstage. We're about to start. Oh, you know what? Come on stage with us. Look, Nora, these people have mustaches drawn on them. Pause girl's here somewhere. We have to find her. Uh, no, Billy. Wait, we came here to meet our hero, but our real heroes are Mr. and Mrs. Goober over there. <laughs> I thought their last name was Thunderman. Let's get on stage. Welcome to the 75th Annual Soup Awards. We begin by honoring two living legends. I am proud to present this year's Platinum Cape Lifetime Achievement Award to Thunderman and Electress. Here's your child. Congrats on the award. I'm never babysitting for you again. He needs a nap. Mm. Finger foods and poison gas. Right? Just like mom used to make. <laughs> Is this what nerd flirting looks like? Ignore him. I'm Phoebe. I'm Balfour. And we're all toast if we don't figure out how to get rid of Galaxia. Oh, dude, she's so scary. You know, if you want to knock her out, you could form an alliance with a certain smart and uh, powerful superhero. You have spinach in your teeth. Aww. <laughs> and why would we team up with you? What's your power? Super math tutoring? <laughs> They call me the gamer. I can fire a nanochip onto a person's neck, then control their every movement. Watch. <laughs> what is happening? Uh, my new friends were hungry. Now, pirouette away, my good sir. <laughs> Thanks. We'll call you if we ever need an army of dancing waiters. This must be Max and Phoebe Thunderman. I'm looking forward to seeing your twin power. Our what power? You know, the unique power that all super twins access in the heat of battle, uh, like the hipster twins. Twin power, activate! <laughs> Our twin power, right, of course. It's something that we totally have. You'd better. Or Galaxia's gonna rip off your heads and plant daisies down your neck. <laughs> First to finish all the tests and hit that button joins the Z-Force. Fail, and you'll be beamed home immediately. Good luck, guys. I hope one of us wins. Oh, one of us will. Okay, let's do this, Max. How about can one Scorpion be, right? Shark! <gasps> At least Galaxy is in as much pain as we are. <laughs> Tickles. <sighs> we made it. Are you okay, Max? No! I'm in excruciating pain and I can't see colors. <laughs> How's Balfour doing? He's gonna nanochip Galaxy. The commander said no powers. But he didn't say anything about gadgets. Oh, well, he's getting rid of Galaxia. <laughs> Why is he getting rid of Galaxia by sending her directly at us? I would also like to know this. Because 
Your family imprisoned my father. You ruined my life, and now I'm gonna ruin yours. <laughs> you just had to invite him to dinner, didn't you? I was being polite. <laughs> I have an idea. Make it a fast idea. <laughs> please don't explode, please don't explode. All right. Hey, Galaxia, catch. This won't tickle. Down to us and Balfour. Good thing we're way ahead. <laughs> well, we were way ahead. Why are we still standing? I don't here? know. <laughs> yep. Done. Done. And it's the Thunder Twins. Gamer, beam him home. I have no hope, thanks to the Thundermans. But I will have revenge. Revenge! Well, he handled that well. Max, we made it onto the Z Force. I know. <laughs> yes, uh, about that. When is our first mission? When do we get our uniforms? Do we get a discount at the gift shop? Negative. The Thunder Twins will never be on the Z-Force. Wait, wh why not? Because you don't have a twin power. So what? We just beat the best superheroes you have. And the hipster twins. We don't need two soups with the same abilities. We just need one of you. So what are you going to do? And make us fight each other? I was going to flip a coin, but that sounds much more fun. <laughs> Sister versus brother. There can be only one! Shall we play a game? Why is the Thunder Monitor set to Math Tutor? Because I'm in control. Baldor? It's not Baldor, it's Barf Score. It's Balfour. Are you sure? Okay. You know what? Forget it. Just call me the gamer. Thundermans, attack! Thundermans, nap! <laughs> Video games. Oh, I'm through playing games. Since you forced my dad to live in a cage, let's see how you enjoy living like animals. I love this thing! Really, stop liking our prison. We have to keep our dignity. <laughs> Look at him! Now they'll get a taste of the rabbit life. Oh, Dad, they'll get more than just a taste. I'm gonna use my nano chips to fry their brains until they are as dumb as actual rabbits. <laughs> Don't worry, guys. I'll run and get help. Do something, Dr. Colosso. I am. I'm gonna watch all the fun. <laughs> Great plan, son. Oh. You really got this villain thing down. Maybe seeing his family with bunny brains will get Max here. Yeah! <laughs> Then I can fry his brain, too. Yeah, you will! Wait, what? I'm a, well, you don't want to do that to Max. Of course I do. He turned you into an animal. No, that's his dumb dad. <laughs> Max is cool. He's like the evil son I never had. I'm the evil son you never had! You make a better rabbit than you do father. Son, I see you're upset. <laughs> So why don't you let me out and we can talk about this over ice cream? My body can't process milk, which you would know if you were around. Uh, Balfour, it must have been so hard growing up without a family. Please, can you tell us all about it? It was awful. I was so alone. You know what happens when you ask a video game to chuck you in at night? It says, <laughs> But I guess a life playing video games did allow me to hone my instincts. Like being able to sense a sneak attack! Ooh, it's begun! Prepare for bunny brains! This is it. 
Everyone hold hands. We will go down the way we lived as a family. I love you all. Oh, I love you too, Mom. Bye, Phoebe. Goodbye, Max. What's happening with your hands? I don't know. It's like power. Max, you don't think twin power? Let's give it a shot. No, what's going on? You can't use any powers. I'm the gamer. I'm in control. Not anymore. Everybody okay? Yeah. 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 No. <laughs> <sighs> the blast was so strong, it shorted out the chips. Quick, pull them off your necks. Max, we had twin power all along. Seeing your family in mortal danger must have unlocked it. No, I'm pretty sure we just never held hands before. <laughs> I will have my revenge. <laughs> Don't think so. <laughs> Game over, Balfour. My name is Bal! Hey, you actually got it right this time. Max, it's all your fault. Hey, don't blame me for something I did. <laughs> Just wanted to help Gideon's confidence by lying to him, not make him think he has superpowers. And I didn't want to do any of this, but you were all blah, 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 help people help themselves. <sighs> Okay, Max, just please do me a favor and don't use your telekinesis on him anymore. He's a smart guy. I'm sure by now he realizes he doesn't actually have superpowers. Behold my superpowers! <laughs> what I meant was he's not going to do anything stupid. With my power bracelet, I can flip off this ledge without breaking a single super bone. <laughs> what I meant Stop was... Stop predicting things. <laughs> Well, yeah, but it was gonna be funny. We gotta get that bracelet back, or Gideon's gonna keep thinking he has superpowers and put himself in danger. Hey, Gideon, um, look, about that bracelet. It's incredible. Ever since I put it on, I've been able to do all these amazing things. I'm so glad you like it. Now give it back. Are you kidding me? This thing's never coming off. I glued it to my wrist. He does the same thing to his underwear to keep from getting wedgied. No way I'm losing my superpowers now. Okay, but Gideon, powers can be dangerous, okay? You should leave that stuff to the real superheroes. I guess you're right. Which is why I will become a real superhero. <laughs> yeah, that's a good joke. Oh, please be a joke. From now on, call me the Giddler, watching over the city from the rooftops. So you're gonna be the Giddler on the roof? Gideon, you could get seriously hurt. I feel no pain. Giddler, away! That was exhausting. We spent all day trying to keep the Giddler on the roof from becoming the pancake on the sidewalk. My hand is so sore from using telekinesis. No! Telecramp! Hey, at least we have time to catch our breath since Gideon never misses his hip hop dance class. Gideon takes hip hop dance class? He teaches it. <laughs> Okay, we gotta come up with a plan to get that bracelet back without Gideon knowing. If I were still evil, I'd just rip it right off his dainty wrist. Wait a sec. Max, that's it! You want me to go back to being evil? Colossal's gonna be so happy. We should just disguise ourselves as supervillains and steal the bracelet off his wrist. I'm in. If I get to pick out the villain outfits. Sure, just don't make me look ridiculous. Oh, don't look up! Too late. You look totally ridiculous. If Gideon got our anonymous tip, he'll be here any minute looking for two equipment-stealing villains. So let's just grab something. Stop right there, evildoers! <laughs> but he looks like a super bugger! Put down those sporting goods or feel my wrath. <laughs> Uh-oh! Looks like our plan is underwater! <laughs> Dude, you sound ridiculous. Do not try to stop us or we will sprinkle you with kicks! <laughs> You're no match for the evil Giddy String! Evil Goggles is a bad idea! Get off me! I caught the villains! 
Okay, we're gonna need to very carefully lower each other down and... Ah, tell the cramp! Ah! Ah! <laughs> yes! I told you they were somewhere! Go, go, Gidler! Again! I'm the evil stoker. I can do anything. I'm getting... You stay out of this. Yeah, no, totally. I'm not sticking my neck out for him. Yeah. Ah, my arm hair. I've got it, people. Don't let's go. Give me back my girlfriend's bracelet. Pretty sure you guys never really dated. So the goal is to flip the bottle into the air and have it land upright. Like this. Wow, you guys are really talented. Why is this a thing? Let's go look it up online. <laughs> so all you do is toss a bottle in the air? How hard can that be? Actually, it's pretty hard. Well, by the law of older brothers, I'm better than you at everything. <laughs> oh yeah? Race you to Texas. <laughs> I win, partner. <laughs> I meant better than you at games? Observe. You used to be somebody. <laughs> Kelly, we finally found a game we're better at than Max. Psh, yeah, right. Not a chance. This table isn't even level. Fine, then why don't you try the kitchen island? Sure. <laughs> Watch and learn. That this island is also not level. So it'd probably be impossible for us to do this then. <laughs> Boom! Stupid boom, stupid game. Oh, I'm sorry. Is that mumbling your way of saying we're better than you? You will never hear that. I'm taking you down to rematch town. Oh, is that your excuseville? Race you to excuseville! <laughs> I don't know where he's going, but I hope he comes back. <laughs> This is the one. I can feel it. It's because we're inside. It's because we're outside. It's because we're inside after being outside. Wait, Max, I think I know the problem. You're terrible. Yeah, Max, you haven't landed it 37 times. Just admit that we're better than you at bottle flipping. Never. I know what I'm doing wrong. I'm flipping with my fingers and not my wrist. I demand a rematch. Eh, we're good. <laughs> what do you mean you're good? Oh, we have to end this while we still have a little bit of respect for you. Do we really respect you? Of course not. <laughs> Please play me again. Nope. <laughs> uh, if I lose, you can have whatever you want. Really? Yes, really. We want what's most precious to you in the entire world. My lair? I was gonna say your hamburger pillow, but sure, we'll take the whole room. Max, what are you doing? This is our playtime buddy bunker. Don't worry, I'm gonna win. And when I do, you two have to declare me the older brother who's better than you, forever and ever infinity. Deal. Deal. Wanna flip a coin to see who goes first? Just kidding, you sink at flipping. If I stink, how could I do this? No, my lair's on fire! You mean our lair's on fire. <laughs> Thanks, Max. Now get your stuff out of here, you have an hour. You guys haven't even flipped yet. Max, the weatherman says a storm is coming. Yeah, just come inside and tell your baby brother and sister they're better than you. They're not better than me! <laughs> we will stay out here for the rest of our lives if we have to. Right, Colosso? Colosso? <laughs> Sucker! <laughs> Traitor! At least I still have my sturdy fort. <laughs> you two, fort! <laughs> Stay strong, Max. <laughs> Who am I kidding? I'm an indoor hero! <laughs> Let me in, it's pouring! You know what we want to hear? Say it! Why, 
in. You guys are extremely lucky in bottle flipping. Keep. I'll really say it this time. You guys are better than me in bottle flipping. Okay, my little brother and sister are better than me. Hey, broke you, baby. Why didn't you just say we were better to begin with? I don't know, I'm older, I'm supposed to win. But I guess you guys can win too sometimes or whatever, ugh, gross. Bobbin, you've been doing a drum roll for 30 minutes. Just show us the product, please. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> From now on, when the world thinks of Hank Thunderman's face, they'll think of... <laughs> underwear? <laughs> Not just underwear, it's Thunderwear! <laughs> it makes the everyday person look and feel like a superhero! Daddy's a butt face! <laughs> Robin, my face does not belong on your tidy brighties. Oh, you don't sound as excited as I thought you'd be. Because you put my cheeks on people's cheeks. Well, we ordered two million of these, and operators are standing by. You're not going to break your promise, are you? My daddy would never break a thunder promise. Of course he wouldn't. I won't break my promise. I'll be your butt face. <laughs> Thank goodness, because we're having a Thunderwear launch party later today at Splatburger, and I need you to wear these. <laughs> One size fits all. Mm, that's right. I tested that pair myself. Uh, <laughs> What's taking Hank so long? We're going to be late to the launch party. Well, he insisted on washing your Thunderwear 12 times. These thundies feel weird. They keep storming my castle gates. Diaper Ash, been there. Hank, Thunderwear go on the outside like a super suit. That's why the slogan says, yo, look and feel like a superhero. I wouldn't feel like a superhero. I feel like a weird guy wearing his underwear over his jeans. I only endorse high quality products. Hey! Do you like pasta? Then you are gonna love microwavable thunder manicotti! The only meal that fights crime and hunger. So it's settled. Put these on over your jeans and meet me at Splatburger in an hour. Darn it, where is that invisible skateboard? It's the fifth one I've lost today. <laughs> oh, I'm so happy! The man of thunder is wearing my unders! <laughs> seen Blobbin this excited. Yeah, me either. I'm not doing it. <laughs> what? I'm not going to embarrass myself in a restaurant full of people. You're not going to help Blobbin? Yes, he is, Chloe, because your daddy promised, and a thunder promise is as strong as thundertanium. Uh, unless a giggling rich guy wants to put your face on his underwear. <laughs> <laughs> On the invisible skateboard. <laughs> Sorry about the two hour drum roll, but I don't think our special guest is gonna show. Think again! <gasps> Where were you? I forgive you, strut your stuff! <laughs> and now, former superhero Thunderman! Look at him rocking those thunderwear. So fierce, so comfortable. The breathable cotton allows me to stay super cool when I'm dropping the kids off at school or showing up at Splatburger to keep my promises. And with our patented stretch and snap technology, say goodbye to saggy drooping drawers. Goodbye, saggy drooping drawers. Isn't he amazing? Just like a pair. <laughs> Buy one, get one free. <laughs> Buy none, get two free. Well, let's give it a try. <laughs> Sorry, Blobbin. They can't all be winners or make sense. <laughs> it's not the end of the world. At least I didn't put my face on it. <laughs> Catch you later, Thunder fam. <laughs> proud of you, honey. Oh, well, I don't care how silly I look as long as our little girl learns her lesson. Goodbye, saggy drooping drawers. <laughs> well, at least she learned a lesson. <laughs>